Hi, once again, Pastor Bob Reynolds here. Greetings to you from True Life Community Seventh-day Adventist Church here in Denver, Colorado. I want to meet with you for just a few moments again. You know, I have watched people who ride roller coasters. Do you ever watch these people on TV or maybe, you know, at the, at the state fair? <laughs> watch them ride these roller I have a rough time riding roller coasters myself. But these people will sit in their seats and they'll raise their hands high and they'll lift their voices. And the real like seasoned riders, they will stay like that throughout the whole ride. They won't hang on to anything. They'll just lift their hands and, and they will lift their voices high. I mean, it's like, it's like almost a spiritual experience to them. <laughs> you know, churches should be like that. We should be raising our hands in praises to God all the time. You know, there are three different Hebrew words for praise in the Old Testament. One is yada, which means to give thanks. Another is zamar, which means to sing praise. And the other is halal, which means to honor God. Those things should not just happen in church or in the temple or wherever we worship. That's only once a week. But they should happen every day. We have wonderful things to praise God for every day. And if you have trouble thinking up things to praise God for, uh, look at the book of Psalms. David was praising God all the time, and he gives us hundreds of ideas about how to praise God. Listen to him in Psalm chapter 63. And I begin with verse 3. He says, because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus, I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. Wow. And, and his book, 150 chapters, just filled with stuff like that, that we can praise God for. Praise him for giving us breath, for the ability to see and to hear and to taste and to smell. All of these things God has given us so that we can enjoy all that he has, he has created for us. Let's pray that we will remember those things and praise him all the time and use the book of Psalms if you need to, to get ideas. Father, we just thank you so much for for all the things that you give us, we can't even count them. It's just daily and, and hourly that you, that you bless us with so many things. We thank you for life. We thank you for the ability that you've given us to praise you. We want to do that day by day in Jesus' name. Amen.